Oh boy. You Hawks fans, both of y'all, not all y'all. Y'all gonna wish y'all got eliminated last week while I was doing my allergies. But bad news to y'all. Your team decided to prolo the laughter until I got well. And now you gotta pay the price. Blame yourselves. Y'all was talking all that shit before the season start. Y'all was gonna win the NBA Finals. You're guaranteeing it. Oh, we came so close last year. I, I don't see why we couldn't close the deal this year. And then you got Sports Live and ATL. He tried to um, he tried to clean his hands with it. Like back in October, he was like, the Hawks are gonna win the NBA title. And then in December, when the injuries start piling up and COVID and all that, and they had that seven game losing streak. Oh, it doesn't hurt my feelings if y'all beat the, if the Hawks don't win the NBA title. Dude, you know you hurt. <laughs> now, to your defense, yeah, you're the AC. I mean, the Heat was the one seed. I don't think he was guaranteeing the Hawks would beat the Heat in the first round. I know he wasn't anticipating. Which gets, which brings my next point. Just because somebody says that they have no faith, they have no expectations of their team beating another team because the opponent is a superior team, in this case, the Heat, it doesn't make them an untrue fan. So, y'all get our slitters back with that. Oh, he's not a true fan because he thinks I was going to lose. Like, what do you want him to say? Oh, you want to get up here and this bit false accusations be like the Hawks the only the Hawks are going to beat the Heat they're going to sweep them niggas well you're not going to say niggas but you get my point no he's been realistic one thing you got to respect about sports having the ATL he's, he's a realistic fan if he tells you he's going to win he'll let you know if he feels that he's going to lose he's going to let me know he didn't expect the Heat the Hawks to beat the Heat so no he's not hurting because the Hawks lost the series I know he's a little disappointed because they lost because you know he would like to see his team win the reason why Slitter is hurting is because the expectations before the season start, damn to hell, just like a stress test at Bar Rescue. <laughs> and that's what makes it funny. He was running his mouth in the offseason talking about how the Hawks go with it all. You can't make it past the run. You had to play in the play in. So you get past LaBello Ball, and you got, I don't know how the hell you get past the Cavaliers. Maybe the Cavaliers are, you know, they're not ripe yet, so. But he said, uh-uh, you're not getting past us. You're not going to go see where you hide next round or after fail. <laughs> you're going to the proverbial couch. So let's let go ahead and put them hawks in a proverbial box. That's what's coming. But hey, I got to get this to you, Slitter. Maybe tomorrow you'll make a video about after fail once the uh, Sixers take out the Raptors. Because we already know the Sixers are going to win tomorrow. I said it all along. I said, I said eating five, Sixers and six. And to my to my fist the dumbest ways, it looks like it's gonna happen. Oh, by the way, Brooklyn Nets. Y'all are the biggest disappointment of the year. How the hell you get all those goddamn superstars? Y'all slumping late in the season, they might not get swept in the first round. That's embarrassing. I don't want anything about a goddamn Brooklyn Nets ever again in life. That's embarrassing. But this story is about the Hawks and how underachieving they were this year. Oh my God, y'all, y'all, y'all suck. It, uh, the Hawks will never go with the NBA title again. I don't give a fuck if it's in Atlanta or inside the move. They're, they're never gonna win the title again. They better hug that 1958 title for St. Louis because that's all you're getting. That's all you're getting. Meanwhile. Oh, uh, I said game six tomorrow, Sixers Raptors. Maybe uh, Sli Anteville, maybe me, maybe Anteville finally get that view for Slitter that he'd be longing for. So Slitter, don't forget if uh, if the Raptors lose tomorrow, that's it for them. You gotta make that view towards Anteville. You you said you was gonna do that. Um, you better hold on to your word. Then next round, maybe you laugh at where you're hiding. I know you want to laugh at him so bad. Which uh, where you hiding? If, uh, if you watch this video. Hey, I think I'll beat the Raptors, but don't forget, don't think I forgot what you said, too. After y'all got James Harden, oh, the Sixers gonna win it all. Yeah, you better win it all, or I'll be back for you.
best believe that. All right, y'all have a good Wednesday. I got to get to work, so I uh, got to get some paper, so y'all be easy. Uh, if, if EBA still sucks. And Braves, get it together. 8 and 10, unacceptable. But y'all did win last night, so I cut y'all a little slack. Get y'all to get that win, but uh, 8 and 10 is unacceptable. Y'all got to get that shit together, B. I don't give a fuck if it is April. Like, I didn't expect y'all be in first place. Not to not get it twisted, but you expect me to sit here and set this mediocrity almost every year? Like, y'all start sluggish? Uh, you got enough ain't coming. This is getting old for y'all. This is getting old for me, all right? Y'all got to stop these uh, slow starts because I'll tell you now what's going to happen is you're going to do this in the wrong year. And you're going uh, to gonna try to play catch up after y'all start break. And guess what? It's going to be too little too late. Because we're going to have another NL East Division champion. And you're going to be on the outside looking in. You're not going to You're not gonna be able to participate in the playoffs. So get it together. I'm not worried about the Lightning. They went on the playoffs. We'll see what happens there. So, y'all, until next time, y'all be easy. A-Fills are signing out. Hot, y'all.